Hi, and welcome to the third video in my South Pole Expedition video blogs. Today I'm going to be talking about a sastrugi. Now, you might be wondering, what the heck is a sastrugi? Well, when you're pulling a sled a thousand kilometers across Antarctica, it would be much easier if it weren't for all these sastrugi. Now, sastrugi is a Russian word, which means parallel wave-like ridges caused by wind on the surface of the snow, especially in polar regions. So basically, big pile bumps of snow that have been blown uh, by the wind, kind of like the bottom of, uh, of an ocean. You know, when you get all the ripples on the sand, it's kind of like that, but it's in snow and it's rock hard. In this video, I'll talk about how the Suzuki formed and the impact they have on our speed and the difficulty in travel. In the end, we had to strugi for 90% of our expedition towards the South Pole. And in some sections, they were huge and pretty much constant. When there's no break between the strugi, it's kind of like riding a bike across a, a, a field of speed bumps. 86.5 to 88.5 degrees was particularly bad. And when you throw in low visibility conditions, it makes getting any distance through a day very very difficult and a huge effort so uh, enjoy the video because uh, we didn't enjoy this is droogie check out uh, information further on our website for information on the keynotes uh, about this uh, south pole expedition have a great day so it's day nine november 25th Working our way towards the South Pole. We've got a pretty flat light day today, which makes navigation a little tougher. And uh, for the last four days, we've been going through this Sestrugi field. Uh, Sestrugi is a Russian word, and it's basically these big wind formed ridges in the snow that are rock hard uh, like the ripples on the bottom of an ocean and right now we're going diagonal across them and so if you're skiing along and all of a sudden you can hit this wall six inches a foot two feet three feet four feet tall and uh, can make it difficult to pull you sled over it, as I just did there. And uh, sometimes you could even fall off the other side. We've had a couple, of, a couple of wipeouts and sometimes your sled gets stuck in such a big hole that you need help to pull it out. Overall, we're doing great. A few blisters, aches and pains, but everybody's doing well. We're averaging just over 10 nautical miles a day right now, which is around 20 kilometers a day, which is really good considering the conditions and the weight of our sleds, somewhere in the 100 kilo range. As our sleds lighten up and the conditions get better, we'll be able to travel more than that. And especially since we're only skiing six hours 45 minutes a day right now we do six 45 minute blocks with a 10 minute break in between we're gonna work your way, way up to eight one hour blocks so I guess all for now going well <clears throat> we're on track 